Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, yet again we're gonna react to Zucker Nike. This time with his video, Will I Go to Hell? Because I am a Catholic Christian. You guys absolutely love Dr. Zucker Nike and I personally find that he is a wealth of knowledge as well. It truly seems that he has an answer to everything and moreover what is really impressive is that he memorizes Quran, Bible, even Hindu Vedas. Very very interesting character, full of good information if you ask me personally. Of course I'm not a scholar but nevertheless very very rewarding for me personally to watch Dr. Zucker Nike. With no further ado, let's have a look. Um, my name's Tanya. I work for Cisco. Uh, I'm not here to disagree with anything, but I've always had a lot of people, especially classical woman, not disagreeable at all. Muslims, well, not a lot of people, just Muslims, always telling me because you're a Catholic, you're gonna go to Jahannam, but we're Muslims, you need to convert and you will go to heaven. According to me, I'm a good Catholic. I try to be a good Catholic. I don't intentionally commit sin. But does that mean because I'm a Catholic, I'm going to go to hell? And if I'm a Muslim, I'm going to go to heaven? So from what I learned before Dr. Zakir Naik speaks, Muslims are not allowed to make such statements. They might want to clarify certain things about Islam, clarify certain things about the Islamic view on Christianity. But to personally address and say, you, you're going to go to hell, that is wrong from an Islamic perspective as far as I know. Now, moreover, my personal view on the matter is that no religion will give you a ticket right to heaven. If you're born Muslim but you sin, you don't practice correctly, who will guarantee you that you will go to heaven? In the end, ultimately, the judgment is with God, of course. Just ask a question that many of her Muslim friends say, because she's a Catholic, because she's a Christian, she will go to hell. That is it true that because she's a Christian, you will go to hell? Sister, according to me, if you're a true Christian, if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah you shall go to Jannah. But, but it's not only according to him, even the Quran said that, that Christians that truly practice have nothing to fear. That's what it says in the Quran. If you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him said, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. Correct? Now, yes. what you are following, I don't know. Are you following your church? Or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Fair if enough. you're following your church, the chances of going to Jannam is very high. If you're following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah, inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. Now, if you read the Bible, there are sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I don't know how much you are well versed with the Bible. Now, all the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, are in red letter. Are in right. red letter. Yeah. Depends Sister, on the Bible, yeah. Do you believe Jesus to be God? Well, I'm a bit confused about that, so I'm not going to get into that. No, but I'm I asking just... yes or no. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything, actually. Well, <laughs> confused God. No, it's, it's not confusion, but I don't want to answer something I don't know. And it's not funny. I'm not saying it's you know or not. Can... Sister, I'm not saying you know or not. What do you believe I'm asking? No, I do believe he's God. Yes, yes that's it. I'm not saying yes. what you know. You may not I be do. able to prove it. Yeah, Fine. I do. Sister, I'll tell you one thing. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any main intervention. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. That was the most surprising part to me. First, I heard that Muslims believe in Jesus as well. That was shocking. But then when I found out that they truly believe in Jesus as the Messiah, this was the biggest surprise to me personally. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, they are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that... Most of the Christians, almost all, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. They believe he claimed divinity. Yes. In fact, 
if you read the bible there is not a single unequivocal statement there is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete bible where jesus christ peace be upon him himself says that i am god or where he says worship me that is very correct sister if you can point out a single unequivocal statement a single unambiguous statement anywhere from the bible in which jesus christ peace be upon him himself says that i am god or where he says worship me i am ready to accept christianity today in fact if you read the bible i'm not talking about you accepting i'll come to it i am not i am giving you yes i'm <laughs> I got you got half the answer stop talking i want to leave okay. answer, you can go ahead you got half the answer okay i told you that if you are a true christian you should go to jannah yes. that's hilarious man again this is something about female psychology women will ask certain things but then when it gets confrontational then they don't want the answer anymore then they want to leave don't know what a true christian is i am giving you information about true christian is If you read the Bible, Jesus Christ peace be upon him said in the Gospel of John chapter number 14 verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John chapter number 10 verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew chapter number 12 verse number 28, I cast out devils with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke chapter number 11 verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John chapter He shoots them out like an AK47 man. Number 5 verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear I judge and my judgment is just for i seek not my will but the will of my father anyone yes. who says i seek not my will but the will of almighty god is a muslim so jesus christ peace be upon him submitted his will yeah this is something that made the trinity crumble in my mind because ultimately the claim of the trinitarians was that everything is coequal the father the son and the holy spirit are coequal but jesus himself as the son claims that the father is greater than him so with that they cannot be coequal it doesn't make any sense to god you are the muslim he never said he was god is clearly mentioned in the gospel of john chapter 14 verse number 24 jesus christ peace be upon him says that the words that you hear are not mine but my father's who has sent me and it's clearly mentioned in the book of acts chapter number 2 verse number 22 e men of israel listen to this jesus of nazareth a man approved of god amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which god did by him and you are witness to it So Jesus Christ is a man approved of God amongst you. Yes, this is why in the end some Christians went through the mental gymnastics to claim that Jesus was the God man. He was fully God and fully man at the same time to then say therefore we can worship him. We are not worshiping men as the Bible claims do not worship men, but we worship God. In this case the God man. Yeah. By wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you have witnessed it. So from the Bible you come to know that Jesus Christ was one of the most beloved messengers of almighty God. We love him, we respect him. Do we follow his teachings? If you compare what Jesus Christ peace be upon him said in the Bible, I told that yesterday that we Muslims we follow more of the teachings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Jesus Christ according to the gospel of Luke he was circumcised on the eighth day we muslim the circumcised most of the christian land that's correct Jesus Christ peace be upon him said you have to follow each and every law gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse number 17 everything of the old testament you can't break one law or dot or tittle as i mentioned in my speech it's mentioned in the book of deuteronomy chapter 14 verse number 8 in the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse 2 to 5 and the book of leviticus chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8 that you should not have pork We Muslim don't have Yes, but here I have to critique a little bit. All the laws of the Old Testament are not kept by the Muslims. In the Old Testament, you were not allowed to eat shellfish, for example. So therefore, for Dr. Zakir Naik to say that Muslims adhere to all of those laws is not correct. The food laws are not exactly the same like the Mosaic law. Pork, but most of the Christians have pork. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse number 18 book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse number 1 you should not have alcohol Muslim don't have alcohol but Christian have alcohol so if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves so if you become a true Christian and truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ peace be upon him said in the gospel of John chapter number 16 How do you remember all verse of this, number 7 It wow. is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him? It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number sixteen, verse number twelve to fourteen. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, "I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of Truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak, he shall glorify me." Verbatim quotation. 
from the Bible, King James Version. So Jesus Christ is prophesying about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you're a true Christian, if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a true Christian, you'll believe in Prophet Muhammad and inshallah you shall go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. This lady wanted to leave 10 minutes ago, but Dr. Zucker Naik finished her. Finish her. As in the beginning of the video, absolutely impressive how this man remembers all the verses, all the quotes. It is absolutely insane how his mind works. I'm really astonished. It's absolutely mind blowing. Guys, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel further via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much for that as well. See you on the next one. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.